So when we now start mixing cylinders and spheres, as in question nine, or cylinders and hemispheres, as in question 10, this is a real higher level standard of question where we've got two shapes involved and maybe one dropping into the other and displacing liquid and all sorts of stuff. So we're told a cylindrical part of an engine has a height of 15. I'm going to put 15 in here. CM and a radius of 8. So my 8 is actually in the middle here. My 8 or equals 8. 15 equals H. A spherical ball bearing. Okay, so here's my ball bearing. This or is 4.8, 4, no, 4.5. It's placed in the cylinder and oil is then poured into the cylinder until the tank is full. Taking pi as 3.14, find the capacity of the cylinder. So the capacity of the cylinder is just pi r squared h. Pi, well, why don't I write just pi r squared h first and then equals whatever we're told, 3.14 by r squared and we're dealing with the cylinder here so 8 squared by h which is 15 and 3.14 by 8 squared by 15 is 3014 3014.4 and we're dealing in centimeters cubed the ball bearing is a sphere 4 thirds pi r cubed becomes 4 over 3 by 3.14 by r cubed which is 4.5 for r to be cubed and 4 thirds by 3.14 by 4.5 cubed is 381 381.51 cm cubed now the volume of volume of oil used is just part c i thought there might be something else involved here just the volume of oil used one take away the other Oil can't take the place of the sphere, so 3014.4 minus 381.51, 2632, 2632, we'd round off here to 0.5 cm cubed. It's 0.9, isn't it? Not 0.5, 0.9. 0.9. Okay, a lighthouse consists of a hemisphere. Just underline the shapes. We're not really, really worried about the diagram. It's just the measurements, the formula. So we've got a hemisphere on a cylinder and the diameter is 14. Now, that means my radius in here is seven for both. So R is equal to seven. The overall height is 37. So that means that the height of the cylinder is 30 that's a radius as well going that way so we've 30 along here taking pi is 22 over 7 find the external surface area of the lighthouse so I'm talking about the curved surface area of the cylinder so the curved surface area of the cylinder do you remember from before that we have the curved surface area of the cylinder 2 pi r is where the circle wraps around and the height is here so it's 2 pi r h so the curved surface area is 2 you were told to take pi is 22 over 7 by the radius by the height and you can see here the sevens cancel so we're going to get 2 by 30 by 22 1320 what are we dealing with here? Meters, 13, 20 meters squared. And then we know that it's 4 pi r squared for a sphere. So we're actually just dealing with the external here. So two, we're looking for 2 pi r squared. 2 pi r squared. 2 by 22 over 7 by 7 squared. It's just 2 by 22 by 7. And 44 sevens are 280 and 28, which is 308. So I add 1320 and 308, I'm going to get 1628 meters squared for the external surface area of the lighthouse. That's 10. So what have we got there? We've dealt with cylinder spheres, cylinder hemispheres. I'll leave it there. 
I'll do question 11 should we do with the rectangle as well a rectangular box I'm trying to keep these videos about five minutes long so people will actually get to the end of them a rectangular box has length 10 with 11 height 6 let's just get the volume of this box straight away 10 by 11 by 6 110 sixes there's six sixties 660 and that will be in cm cubed find in terms of pi the volume of the largest sphere that will fit inside the box so we imagine a sphere inside the box what can we say about it well it's going to fit perfectly the height of it is going to be the diameter the diameter will be the same as the height it means so the radius is going to be three of this sphere that fits in here so a radius of three will fit inside the box that's the max that we can have so four thirds pi r cubed is equal to the volume of a sphere four thirds pi by three to be cubed so that's nine by four 36 pi for part a and the largest cylinder that will fit inside the box so let's have a look at the options for cylinders we could put one going down this way Just imagine that being a 3d cylinder shape so option one we do i think there's three options here option one or it's three and the height <coughs> or the length of it we call it the height but it's the length is 10. so the cylinder that's pi r squared h for b which is pi by 3 squared by 10 9 tenths 90 pi going that way that's option one option two well, option two it could be on this side here let's say that way and it's going across this way to the far side so again we have a radius of three and again this will be 11 so we have option two this time or is equal to three and h is equal to 11 so that would give pi by three squared by 11 which is 99 pi they look the most obvious choices but i think if we stand it up we can stand one up here let's say on top and bring it down to the bottom what would be the biggest measurement we could get in there for that so the height of it would be six this six along here now how wide can it be well it's 10 going that way so in fact we could make we could make it fit where the radius could be five couldn't we you'd have a five radius in there so it'll be 10 all the way across it it just wouldn't this one extra but actually we could fit it snug we we'll could do a better diagram there maybe try a better diagram something like that we'll fit snug all the way across uh, so our radius will be five and option three radius is five the height is six does that give us a bigger pi by five squared by six pi r squared h that's going to be 150 pi so that's definitely the biggest one so interesting